What's up guys, Jayfree's Reviews here with part 3 of 3 on the Magic the Gathering Japanese War the Spark booster box opening. So, if you haven't already, please be sure to check out part 1 and 2 and see what spiciness I have pulled. I'm excited to see what this last part brings us. So, I've been breaking it up into 12 packs a piece, so be very curious to see what we get here as always i'm not spending a whole lot of time with the commons uh i'm gonna see what uncommons we get and rares so a nice jace wielder of mysteries we'll always take that and the alternate art so i pulled some decent cards honestly now i'm not expecting a whole lot but just curious to see what else I get. So, and we'll be announcing the giveaway for this booster box opening uh, sometime afterwards. So, trying to decide what we're going to put in there. Hopefully, something cool for everyone who has um, supported me, uh, young and old, uh, new and old too. So, Thank you to everyone. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Really um, like to do these openings, but just like to make sure there's enough interest to do so. So, all right, let us see. Ooh, I don't know if I pulled you yet. So, very cool. All right, so three packs down fourth of the way and we're going to strong okay and bump and I always forget with which one this is Pulled a few copies already, and in the second part, I had duplication already. I think it was back to back packs, so I don't know what was going on. Does that bode well for this last part? Who knows? But always interesting to see what we pull with these Japanese packs. I know some people have opened quite a few, so. Alright, again, I don't know all these cards off the top of my head, so that's why I'm not even going to guess. Uh, I want to go through and scan them all and then figure out what's what, so that, we, that way uh, we'll know. You can give a fair assessment of the actual value hidden in these Japanese War the Spark booster boxes, so... Right. Ooh, that's one I haven't gotten yet is a foil Japanese land. That is cool. So, that was the first foil we pulled in this one. Going through the rest. Not bad. Not bad at all. Always like the foil uh, lands. Except I will say, Theros Beyond Death destroyed... Uh, foil lands. They need to stop that. Just stop it in general. So, ooh, is that no? Is that Mr. T? I I think it is. Mr. T has arrived. Oh, it it's so nice to see you, Mr. T. That's awesome. So we have both a Karn and we have a Teferi. So. Great stuff, guys. Pulled a lot of the cards that I've wanted out of this. So, um, overall, I'm pretty happy. And we go. Ooh, you were cool. All right. Goblin guy. Dun, dun, dun. Ok, 
Okay. Boom, bump, bump. And bam. Okay, and just a regular uh, foil comment. So, and so far, this box has only produced three mythics, which uh, that's kind of below average, but you know, still, that's okay. It's not been a home run box, but definitely not the greatest so far. But we do this because we enjoy it. So, all right, and down to the final two. So, thank you everyone who watched these videos, and be sure to stay tuned for the giveaway on this opening. Make sure if you haven't already and already mentioned to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support means a lot. So as I say that, we do pull another mythic. Uh, nothing crazy, but glad we did get four. So four total mythics. And like I said, I'll have the list of everything we pulled. Uh, no foil or alternate art though which is a bummer, but still, I'm glad that we did pull some cool cards. We got two foil rares, which is always nice, so we'll take it. That's what you get. It's all chance. Ooh, Oogie, you showed up right at the end. Very nice. So we did get an Ugin, we got a Mr. T, and we have a Karn. I will take it, so... Thanks, guys. Uh, make sure if you haven't already, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and be prepared for the opening, uh, or excuse me, giveaway for Japanese War of the Spark. I hope everyone has a great day. Cheers.